Welcome to the NAVSUP Headquarters Household Goods video series. If you are separating and need information on the final shipment of your household goods, this is the video for you. We will provide information on your basic entitlements, the locations you can ship from and to, the different types of shipments and storage that you may be authorized, and provide instructions for requesting a move. Entitlements information for separatees can be found in the Joint Travel Regulations and the NAVSUP P490. Members who separate or are released from active duty under honorable conditions, excluding members who are discharged with severance or separation pay, are authorized one final shipment of household goods. Separating members are authorized a final shipment of household goods from their current or final duty station, a previous duty station, a previously designated location, or for non-temporary storage, and can ship to their home of record or place entered active duty, whichever distance is greater. Separating members can ship to any location other than home of record or place entered active duty, however, the shipment will be limited in cost. Finally, separating members can also have property picked up and placed into non-temporary storage. In order for members to ship household goods, there must be an authorization and a financial obligation. These two things are contained within your separation orders. If you do not have orders, there is no authorization for a move, and any move you perform prior to the issuance of your separation orders will not be reimbursed. There are two types of shipments that you can request. The first is a government arranged move, referred to as a basic household goods shipment. Government moves are assigned to a Transportation Service Provider, or TSP, who is responsible for all of the packing, loading, transporting, and delivery of your property. The second type of shipment is a Personally Procured Move, or PPM. If you perform a PPM, you are responsible for making all of your move arrangements. With a PPM, you can use your own vehicle, you can rent a truck and or a trailer, hire a commercial moving company of your choosing, or utilize a U-Pack Vayload method, such as Pods, U-Hauls U-Box service, or PackRat. You can perform a combination of both types of shipments, but you must be aware that the combined weight of all shipments cannot exceed your maximum weight allowance. There are two different types of storage that can be utilized. You are not authorized both types of storage, so you must choose one or the other. The first type of storage is called non-temporary storage, or NTS. NTS is a long-term storage used at the origin or pickup location. Separating members can place items into NTS for 180 days. This time starts from the actual date of your separation. If you decide to place property in NTS, no additional storage is authorized once the shipment is released for delivery. If you know you will need more than 90 days of storage, then you are encouraged to utilize NTS. The second type of storage is storage in transit, or SIT. SIT storage is short-term, temporary storage, most frequently used at destination. You are authorized 90 days of SIT. Remember, if you elect to put your property into NTS, there is no additional SIT at destination. Navy members submit all move requests in the Defense Personal Property System, or DPS for short. The first step is to obtain a user ID and password. Then you will submit your application and upload all supporting documents, which include a copy of your separation orders and signed copies of DD Forms 1299 and 1797. These signed forms are required for all government arranged moves. The two forms are available for printing on your DPS submit page. If anyone other than the member signs those forms, they will need to provide a copy of their power of attorney. If you are requesting a PPM, then you only need to upload a copy of orders. It is important to note that the 1299 and 1797 require a signature. You can electronically sign these forms, however, if you do not have the ability to electronically sign, then you will need to print both forms, sign them, scan them into your computer, and then upload them to your DPS account. If your forms do not include a signature, your application cannot be processed, and your move will not be booked until the signed forms are received. There are a variety of sites where you can find more information if you need it. The best source for Navy members is our NAVSEP Household Goods webpage. 
Here you will find information on your entitlements, instructions for shipping special or unique items, and most importantly, guides that will help you navigate your DPS application. You can find a personal property office, a weight scale, a weight estimator form, and a PPM estimator tool through the move.mil website. Another great source of information is the It's Your Move booklet. This booklet provides you with information on regulations on the shipment of household goods. Thank you for taking the time to view our video. If you need more information on the move process, your entitlements, or help with DPS, you can email us at householdgoods at navy.mil or call us at 855-HHG-MOVE.